it's me Jillian and today I am here for another what is in my ipsy bag and my monthly favorites video this month is September obviously you guys probably know that already unless you're just really confused with life so yeah anyways this month I'm going to be showing you my September stuff so I'm just gonna start off with showing you guys my ipsy bag of this month so I really like this ipsy bag I don't know, it's more, like, casual than the other one, and the other one sort of felt like plastic, which I wasn't really into, but this one just looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it sort of does have a texture on this side. It's like a sparkly gold color, and then on this side, like I said, it's got a weird sort of, like, texture, and then on the other side, it is just plain sparkly gold. But yeah, so we'll just get right on into that. So the card that came in this month's Ipsy package looks like this, and it says Face Fashion by Ipsy. Face the future, smokier, deeper, richer. This September, leave the past behind and take the leap into fall with a glam bag made to inspire the perfect transition from summertime casual to autumn elegance. So that's what this glam bag is about. So first I'm going to start off with this product. It looks like this, and it is the... Octan Octavio, not really sure how to say it, but it is an argan oil, which I got one of last month if you guys watched my video, so I am not very happy at all with this product. Um, my hair is already very oily as it is, so putting hair oils in my hair does not help, obviously, so these really don't have any use to me. I did send um, a request to Ipsy saying not to send me any more hair oils, so hopefully they listen to that. But yeah, that is the first product. Then the second product is another one that I did not really like getting. But it just came in this little box. And it is the Queen of the Fill Tinted Brow Gel. It's by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mott. So basically, I'll just take it out of the package for you guys. It just looks like this. And I don't fill in my eyebrows as it is. So this doesn't really come in handy for me. Also, it is not the tone of... I don't know how to explain this, but like, not the tone of color. Um, it is not the color of my eyebrows at all. It came in light medium, I think. Yeah, light medium. So this does not match my hair color, but I don't use eyebrow fillers anyways, so this really does not come in handy to me. These next items I'm actually very happy with. So the first one is this little lip pencil. It is by Trestique, and I really like this honestly. I'm not too much of a fan of the matte lip crayons, but this one isn't too bad. I don't know if you guys can see the color of this, but it's just a light sort of peachy um, nude color. The color that it says here is Nantucket Nude, but it's just a mini matte lip crayon. If it wasn't matte, I would like it a lot more, but it is a really nice color, especially for the fall. This next product that I got, I've been using every single day, and I love it, and I'm definitely going to buy some after. It is called the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, and it is intense hydration for dry, parched skin. So it's basically just a face cream, or for any part of your body, but my face gets really dry because of the face washes that I use, so using this on my face really helps a lot. I do plan on buying some of this once this runs out, so thank you, Ipsy. I love this very much. And last but not least, guys, I am obsessed with this, and I've been using it every single day on my eyes. Thank you so much, Ipsy. I honestly, like, praise you for this. I got the Ipsy NYX Eyeshadow Trio. It is so nice. Oh, my gosh. I all, I've always loved the brand NYX, but it is so expensive. So getting this in my Ipsy bag was so exciting for me. Here are the shades in this palette. I don't know if you guys can see very well. Looks pretty nice that way. Um, the first shade is just a um, light, light nude color. And it's really nice because to me it sort of has like a champagne tone to it. So, I don't know, it's just a nice color and it also has a shimmer. The second one is just a reddish, brownish type color. And then the last one is just a completely matte um, black, which I do not plan on using. But nude colors are pretty much the only thing that I use on my eyes for eyeshadow. So getting this was very exciting for me and I have been using it a ton. So thank you so much Ipsy and that is it for my Ipsy bag. Alright, so moving on to my favorites of this month. So first, I don't know if this should really go in this video, but whatever. These are 
my favorite candies of this month. Um, I actually bought this at Costco. It was $7. And it's just a huge tub of sour keys, which I've just been eating so much. I have these in my room. And I have just been eating them one after another. And they're really good. So, yeah. Next, I have another sort of candy type thing, and it is just this gum, and it's just the Dentine Ice Avalanche flavor, and I don't know, I've just really been liking this flavor, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Next, I have some beauty items. So, first I have this nail polish, and it is the Pure Ice brand, and the color is, let me just find it, Taupe Drawer. So basically, it's just like a nice pinky orangey, dark sort of fall color. I don't know. I really like it. And it's really calm, so it's just really nice. And I've been using it a lot lately, especially because we're jumping into fall now. So it's nice. And then I have a bunch of stuff from Bath & Body Works that I've been liking. So first, I've been using this candle a lot. Since I live in Canada, um, the falls do get cold. But right now, we're still sort of transitioning from summer to fall, so it still does get pretty hot out, so I don't want to bring out my full-out sort of fall candles. So I'm still using this summer candle, but it sort of does have a fall tint to it. So basically, this is just the scent Oahu Coconut Sunset, and if you smell it, I don't know, it smells like coconut, but it also sort of smells like fall to me, so I really like it. So I've been using that. Then... I have this collection that I actually got from one of my friends for my birthday last year and it is the warm vanilla sugar scent and it came with a perfume, a body wash, and a lotion. So I've been using all of these because I love the smell of warm vanilla sugar and since it is starting to be fall, I decided to bring out my fall perfume and body wash and all that. It smells so good. I've also been using this cashmere glow body wash as well. I sort of just alternate, but this one's almost gone, so soon I will not be using this one anymore. But Cashmere Glow is a really nice scent from Bath & Body Works as well, and it just smells really good. Or, I will also be using the Twilight Woods Body Lotion. I have two of these, and they're really old, so they're still in the super old packaging. If you guys shop at Bath & Body Works a lot, you would remember Oh my god. Woo! One sec. <laughs> If you guys shop Bath & Body Works, you would remember this packaging. But yeah, these are really old. I have one that looks like this, and then one that looks like this. So yeah, you can tell how old these are. But I also like this scent for fall as well. And then, last but not least, my last favorite from this month are these babies, which I love so much. These are the Roots Cabin Socks. And these ones are just the original kind that are gray and white with the red stripe. And yeah, they're just basically root socks that are super cozy and soft, and I love them so much. And since it is starting to be fall, I've been wearing them a lot lately, and I just love them. Like, honestly, you guys should see how many pairs I have. One second. Let's just get these out. <laughs> Here we are. So I have the pair that I just showed you guys. I have two more pairs, just like the pair that I just showed you guys. I have two pairs of these ones, which are just like the pair I showed you guys, except shorter, and a purple um, ring around the top. And then I have these two pairs, which are very close in color. This one's basically just a darker purple with a purple ring on the top, and this one's just a lighter pinky purple with a pink ring. And then I have these ones, which are a variation of the cabin socks, and they just look like this, and they're a lot thinner. And then they say... Whoops, they say roots up the sides, so that's cool, and then I have them in this color too. And then I just have these ones which are little fluffy socks, so yeah. That just turned into a root socks collection very fast, so sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are subscribed to my used to be singing channel, I have changed it to Life is Jillian Vlogs. So when I do vlogs, they will be on there, I will not be continuing with the singing videos. Um, so I will be vlogging on that channel, which I will put right here for you guys, and in the link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! Oh, also, hey guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>